right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Rockhold is nine years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibayev! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 16 wins, 6 losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Santa Cruz, California, Luke Rockhold. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded within the kickboxing match tonight. You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is oh! oh, he oh. might be out. Like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Rockhold gets caught for that punch. Oh, he got absolutely plunged, and that's as good a combination as we've seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly used. He's out. He's done. He's done. Oh my God. 
goodness, what a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, and he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Borges Kumbaya! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.